simplicity of the HMB mechanism as compared to traditional spring-spring type mechanism is a stark contrast. Energy level per energy level across the industry with other mechanisms, it provides a much smaller footprint than any other drive system that the industry offers. Well, I, I've seen a lot since I've been here. It's been 11 years, and I've seen the growth of the product line from the AHMA to the, to the present day HMB, and that's allowed us to grow our product portfolio from very low voltages up to very, very high voltages uh, that are the first in the industry. So it's pretty exciting to watch that happen. And a lot of that's been a result of having a very compact, small energy source like the HMB. Repeatability performance and the operating characteristics of an HMB, coupled with the CPU controlled device, I can target exactly where I want that breaker to open and close on the transmission line system, which is unheard of with traditional spring or pneumatic spring mechanisms. The HMB mechanism is exclusively used on our gas insulated switch gear for high voltage. We use it on our dead tank breaker products and live tank breakers. One of the most important places it's used is in generator circuit breakers in nuclear power plants. basic design concept behind the HMB mechanisms were they were looking for a, a commonality among each of the designs. So ideally, if you learn how to work on one HMB mechanism, you can work on all of the HMB mechanisms in the entire product portfolio. I think the most common misconception on the HMB is really the uh, complexity of the device. It's only got eight moving parts in total, major moving parts, and it's rather simple than uh, alternative designs that are available in the industry. In terms of serviceability, repair of the HMB units is much easier due to the functional design of the units. And additionally, no special tools are required. The HMB, in its modular concept, it's simply a bolt off and bolt on. So I can replace major components on the HMB within 15 minutes to a half hour of maximum downtime. So that overall uh, concept uh, provides a lot of flexibility in the utilities operations folks and their time management and their scheduling of maintenance. With over 20,000 AHMA units in service, and in the meantime, over 65,000 HMB units in the field, we've over 650,000 years of circuit breaker operation under our belt. Because of our mechanism being so constant and consistent within the power grid, it offers our customers clean, quality power given to the end user. The device has changed a lot over the years. It started out in the 1980s uh, with its original design and we're three or four design generations later and it's actually been very, very good for our users. By moving away from the six tie rods to three cylinders and by paying particular attention to seals, we've decreased the unit's sensitivity to dust and mechanical damage. So one important improvement we've made with the HMB technology is to do with the integrated safety valve. We've moved from using two ball type safety valves to a single robust cone type valve. Bigger, but more reliable. Some of the things that I look back on that we feel good about as ABB is that the number of operations we've been able to do uh, over traditional spring drives. You know, we've had breakers that have had over 25,000 operations with this type of mechanism that is unheard of when I look at any spring mechanism. Uh, we've been able to implement new technologies that are new to the industry that no one else has been able to implement. Because there are less moving parts and less friction within the parts of the HMB, this mechanism lends itself to be virtually maintenance free. Well, because of the improvements we've made and some of the design features we, we've put under the mechanism and enhanced the design with, uh, we're able to offer an industry's first 10-year warranty on the Type HMB mechanism. So we're very excited about that opportunity. The key to really appreciating the mechanism is just spending a little bit of time and learning how it's really built and how it operates. Once you've overcome that little hurdle, you, you will realize how easy that mechanism is to operate and maintain. When I first came here, ABB was first designing this mechanism and it was just coming onto the market and they have done so many improvements, so many 
upgrades, uh, the mechanism continues to get better and better, and that provides better and better um, quality products for our customers.